right guys welcome to another show here at virtual hearing podcast yes. we're on instagram facebook uh constant contact instagram what, where, where else are we at uh, ig ig live let me see what we're going on here we're just checking everything making sure everything's good Guys, uh, all right, we're gonna give that another roll. Another roll. Here we go. We're live everywhere. Everything, all right, cool. Welcome, guys. Welcome, guys, to another virtual hearing show. Whether if you're on the virtual hearing podcast, Facebook page, Instagram page, constant contact, emails, you are getting hit from all directions <laughs> because we are trying to help people hear better. I got my co host Shannon. What's going on, Again, guys? Uh, my name is Christopher Medina, I am the hearing aid specialist. And I am your hearing care professional. So <clears throat> today's topic, uh, we're going to be talking about tinnitus. And what is that? For the tinnitus, that tinnitus, know. tinnitus. You know, a lot of people refer to it as ringing in the ears, a little humming sound, a little high pitch frequency sound that just sounds like tss, or like a ee, that's constantly there. Uh, it's in, you hear it inside of your head, especially when everything is quiet. So when things get quiet, you hear it the most. Okay. Um, so we're gonna go over a few things. Uh, so I mean, what do you what do you what do you know about uh, tinnitus, Shannon? I know very little. To be honest, with you, the only thing I know is is like I said, when it gets quiet, you hear ringing noise. But I don't know. Does that last forever when you have tinnitus? Because I get that sometimes. <clears throat> maybe if I'm leaving a loud place and. The next day I'm having that, does that mean I have tinnitus? I don't know, you know? Definitely, so let's go over a few things that can cause tinnitus. Okay. So let's say you're constantly exposed to a noisy environment. So let's say you go, you work at an airport, you work at a factory or anywhere that's just, there's constantly a good volume, a high volume of noise. So what, what tinnitus is caused by all the noise it's actually so the noise is loud right mm -hmm. so if anything exceeds 80 decibels or higher it can start to damage your hearing nerve okay and tinnitus is a result of that so let's say for example you go into a bar a club and i i'm sure mostly everybody has experienced this once you leave and you've heard a lot of loud music a lot of loud noise you start to hear this buzzing sound, especially when you're about to go to sleep. It's quiet, you hear a just in your ear. And for the most part, within a couple of days, it's usually gone. But when it actually does permanent damage, it will actually stay there forever, forever. So what are some of the signs? Like if, if it stays for like, what, two, three days, then that means, hey, I'm on, I'm on the brink of permanent damage. What are some of the signs of permanent damage? Um, so if you're hearing the, the ringing constantly every day, that could be one of the signs that okay. it's, it's probably not going to go away. Uh, for myself, I'm actually, I'm actually experienced tinnitus myself because I used to drive a very loud motorcycle that had a very loud exhaust. Mm -hmm. And it used to be my daily commuter. So wow. um, it even tells you when you put on the, the, those big loud uh, mufflers on your car, your motorcycle, whatever, it's going to say. Uh, this is only used for racing and as a matter of fact most of the, most states and cities probably those are probably illegal You're not supposed to be putting those on your car just for the same fact that it can cause uh, Hearing loss to you and you know you can be damaging other people's hearing as well So again uh, loud noise, maybe you work in a loud environment for a, a, a long amount of years um, again, also it also depends how loud is the noise and for how long you're exposed to it. Okay. All okay. right. And now, what are some of the job professions that are at risk for tinnitus? What are some? If, if I work at this kind of job, you know, yeah. Which one? Who should be worried about it? So, just to go over a few, you know, if you're a DJ, you might want to consider wearing earplugs. Okay. I know most of the time you, the most DJs have to wear headphones right. just because they have to sync um, the next song with the song that's currently on. But you're, you're constantly being exposed to loud music, 
most of the time. Uh, let's say an airport, you know, a lot of people think, um, you know, you're required to wear hearing protection, but depending on how loud the noise is, it can actually attenuate, which means it's still not going to be enough to block out the loud noise. Because an airport, would, what, what kind of noise would I be hearing? So, I mean, I, that's, a, that's if you work outside with the planes right, okay. and the pilot, maybe you're testing a few things and you got to turn on the plane and stuff. Uh, you know, constantly being exposed to the engine sounds because they are very loud. That's why I'm pretty sure if you've uh, taken a flight anywhere, you see the people who are guiding the planes are either wearing uh, those big ear protector muffs or uh, I'm sure they're wearing earplugs for sure. Um, but yeah, those, those, those are just two, but there could be a lot of uh, noisy jobs. A lot of people that work in construction. Construction too, you know, you're wearing, you're using uh, heavy tools that you know maybe are meant for penetrating concrete that like drills all those drills like uh, you constantly hammering things stuff like that is gonna produce uh, noise and you do want to protect yourself from that okay and what are some of the like you said you mentioned earplugs earplugs uh, so earplugs you know you gotta always when you buy earplugs you gotta read the the label about what is the average it is gonna attenuate uh, attenuate the average amount of noise. Okay. So there, because there's different earplugs for different things. They could be for swimming. They could be for gun shooting at the range. They can be for uh, DJs, uh, artists who perform. They have uh, monitors. Uh, there's a lot of different hearing protection out there. So whatever it is that you're doing, you want to make sure you're using the correct way, the correct hearing protection, and you're using it the correct way. Because a lot of people put the earplugs. On the, on the tip and they're not inserting them correctly okay. which can cause hearing damage to your you know to your ear okay so uh, yeah so now let's go into um, is there a cure for tinnitus there is no cure for tinnitus okay. uh, the good news is that there is therapy so hearing aids offer uh, tinnitus therapy what which <clears throat> tinnitus therapy so it's, it kind of helps you manage the tinnitus so depending on how loud your tinnitus is, you um, you know you you would have to go see like an audiologist or your hearing care professional okay. to kind of evaluate uh, where you're at with your tinnitus. So okay. so there's tin the hearing aids uh, offer a tinnitus therapy. So it basically produces a noise that would kind of mask the tinnitus, so that you don't mm. you hear that noise. It's supposed to soothe you, but yet mask the noise enough so that it doesn't bother you as much. Okay, okay. Also, if you wear hearing aids, you're going to be hearing better, which is also going to mask the tinnitus and help you overall because tinnitus is connected to hearing loss most of the time. Got it. Now, how can someone find out if they have tinnitus? Where could they go to get an exam to find out if they have tinnitus? Okay. Uh, yeah, so there is uh, some audiologists that do perform tests to kind of get an idea of where you're at with your tinnitus and how, what's the frequency of the tinnitus. Uh, but you, you always want to get your hearing test checked yearly just to okay. make sure your hearing's good. And if you are suffering from tinnitus, it is most likely there is some type of hearing loss. And could you do that test here? Yes, yes. So we could do okay. the hearing test here. We do hearing screenings. You can see your ENT. Some ENT doctors do it. Uh, of course, an audiologist can perform that test. Okay. And um, they will let you know what's best recommended in that situation. And how much is that test? Uh, well, a console, I mean, it, 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 could, uh, it could vary. It depending on where you go. If you okay. go see an ENT doctor, an audiologist, or a hearing care professional. Let's say if I go most, to virtue hearing. You know? If you come with us right now, we have a special promotion where we do, we're doing free screenings for everybody. Okay. and also free trials to trial the hearing aids. And if you are suffering from tinnitus, we do offer that trial tinnitus therapy feature on, nice. all, on all our instruments, which, all is, instruments. which is great. Yes, wow. yes. Okay. Um, so again, uh, if you have any questions about the tinnitus, uh, please post in comments. Uh, we will try to answer your questions as best as possible. Mm -hmm. And um, another thing that helps with tinnitus uh, that I've heard from my patients is, you know, Maybe putting a little bit of soft, relaxing music at night if, you, okay. if you're having trouble sleeping. Uh, people tell me, you know, getting doing some exercise, getting real tired. You know, that way you fall asleep faster. But um, you know, firsthand knowing what tinnitus is and actually going through it, I know it can be disturbing. The more you pay attention to it, 
So always try to be distracted. Don't focus on the tinnitus. Just always uh, be busy. Stay busy. Okay. And forget about it, man. It's always gonna be there. It's it's always good to just accept it and move on and don't pay attention to it. So let's cover some of the ways people can either you know relieve some of those symptoms or improve their lives even with tinnitus so you have you say one wear hearing plugs right earplugs well to prevent of yeah. course to prevent hearing loss and prevent everything you always want to protect your ears okay yes nice um other than that yeah let's uh what are the questions what are the questions uh let's see so there's no cure therapy yeah i mean so if you if you if you think you're suffering from tinnitus or if you know someone has that has complained about it, you know you want to refer them to a hearing care professional like like me, an audiologist, an ENT to go get evaluated. Okay, perfect. And percentage-wise, how many patients do you that you see that you think potentially have tinnitus? How how big of a problem uh, is this? I'd say out of my patients, I'm pretty sure about more than 50 percent of 50%. my whole patients. Wow. Uh, suffer from some degree of hear, uh, hearing loss and tinnitus. Oh, wow, and tinnitus. Yeah. Okay. And, and and what are some of the things that they did? Was it, you know, the TV too loud? Is it you know, music too loud? You know, what are some of the things that, you know, people are doing out there to affect their hearing? Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, you know, if, you, if you're wearing the earbuds, you know, too loud, you know, there's, there's studies now that are showing that a lot of teenagers young people are starting to suffer more and more wow. with hearing loss and tinnitus just because of the wearing their earplugs all the time they're I mean their headphones headphones earphones for long periods of time and loud you know you don't want to sleep with them I know a lot of people you know probably like to listen to music and take a nap and stuff yeah, like that my buddy actually listens to audiobooks with the ear pods on sleeping yeah, so that's not a good idea. Again, it depends on how loud and how long okay. you wear it, but it's not recommended you do that. Got it. You know, and what about the audio level? You mentioned don't have the earpods too loud. You know how it goes from zero to a hundred. What? What's yeah, so a good? What's a good? If you um, have level? children, if you have children, or if you're for yourself, you want to monitor that. There's, I'm sure that all the phones have a setting where you can kind of restrict how loud you can go. Okay. So in case, you know, maybe you have a, like me, I have a seven year old daughter. I don't want her wearing the headphones and then she's raising all the volume up and I don't even know what she's doing. She could be damaging her hearing. Mm -hmm. So we do want to put those restrictions, especially for the kids nowadays that are, you know, playing Fortnite, playing yeah. Roblox, all those little apps, you know, everybody, all the kids usually have tablets nowadays, right? Yeah. And with the, you know, earphones on so that way they can hear their own stuff. So I'm pretty sure that's potential damaging you know yeah, to, yeah. to their ears indeed, indeed. so okay, yeah so just this. wrapping up here uh if you guys have any questions comments please post below we, we would love to get your feedback if you guys uh want us to talk about a certain topic that is in regards to your ear your hearing health uh please let us know and um, you know we're always doing free hearing aid trials, free yep. hearing tests, free consults. And for those who don't know, <coughs> where, where are you located and how they can they reach you? Yeah, so we're here in the city of Montebello. Okay. Uh, our address here is 134 South Montebello Boulevard in Montebello, California, 90640. And our office number here is 323-530-0223. Again, it's 323-530-0223. Uh, just call my receptionist Adam will answer just let her know hey I want to come in for a free screening or have a friend that wants to do a screening or he wants to try hearing aids and uh, we'll do everything at no charge uh, because our model here is to make sure that there is value being exchanged so we like to make sure that our customers our clients our patients um, will actually benefit from the hearing instruments before they make such a large investment Nice. All right. Thank you so much. Cool. Man. Well, thank you, Shannon. Um, and uh, again, post and comments. Uh, we'll definitely uh, see you in the next one. And I think we are going to start a Spanish series. Yes. So, you know, uh, for all our patients who speak Spanish, our followers who speak Spanish, we will definitely have you some content. Vamos a tener más información en español. Para la gente que habla español, ya sé que es algo muy importante. Y los queremos informar más. Entonces vamos a tratar de hacer más videos en español y más información en español. Yeah. All right, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Share it, like it, and we'll definitely make some more shows for you. All right, take care, y'all.